Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Chapter 1 Math, Lesson 5. And today, before we start, I would like you to make sure that you have your math book, okay? And you can put that aside for, for now, and then you could have um, some counters with you and your pencil and your eraser, okay? So some of the things that I do to warm up uh, for our math today, get our math minds going, um, will, uh, you can have counters to help you work along with me, or you can uh, do it on your whiteboard, whichever you like, okay? So today we are going to do our lesson on vertical addition, okay? So vertical addition Hmm, vertical. Well, we have been working horizontal. Our addition goes in the direction of this little, these two words here. So vertical is actually up and down. Okay, so we're going to do that, talk about that today. And our essential question is how do you add numbers? And that's what we're doing in our chapter one. All right, so here's our problem of the day. Now, for this one, you might want to use perhaps your counters. Um, and first, what I always like to tell you, whether you're here with me or if you are in person with me, I would say the same exact thing. Please listen to the problem being read first, okay? Allie and Todd have chores to do every week. Allie must take out the trash, wash the dishes, and clean the birdcage. Todd must fold the laundry and put away the dishes. How many chores do they have all together? Now, my suggestion to you is every time that I say a chore that they do, put one of your counters to the side, okay? And that's going to help us figure it out. So let's start. Allie and Todd have chores to do every week. Allie must take out the trash, wash the dishes, and clean the birdcage. Now, Todd must fold the laundry and put away the dishes. How many chores do they have all together? All right, count. And let's see if you got the same answer that I think is right. Ready? Five chores. Did you get five? Yep. I counted each time and every time we did that, I got five chores. Good job. See, word problems aren't that that difficult. You take your time and you, and you go through them. Okay. Here's our little solve, our little quick solve problem. Julia has three baseballs and did not buy any more. How many baseballs does she have? And again, you can use those counters. How many does she have now? That's right, three. We just did that yesterday about counting, right, plus zero. She didn't buy any, so that's the zero. Plus zero equals three. Good job. Here comes our next little quick uh, solve question. Mara has four toy airplanes. Luca has no toy airplanes. How many do they have all together? Use your counters if you'd like. All right, you ready? Four toy airplanes. Did you get that? I know you did. You're so good. All right, here's a practice. Three plus three equals Okay, so you can pause this, use your counters, and then here's the answer. Six. Good job. You know what three plus three is when there's a when there's two of the same number? Does anybody remember what that might be called? Double. Yeah, if you said double, that's true. Two of the same, it's a double. Good job. All right. How can you write an addition number sentence a different way? Well, let's think. How have we written them so far? As I said, we wrote them horizontally, 
okay? And horizontal means, I'm going to use my line, okay? Horizontal is going straight across, okay? Well, guess what? Today we're going to learn to do vertical, which means we start at the top and go continue down to the bottom, okay? So we're going to work on that today. All right. All right, so let me see. It says, place a number of objects onto the top of the screen, right over here, and then place a different number of objects under the first group of objects. And then we're going to use what I put up here to write an addition number sentence, both horizontally, here's horizontal, and vertically, okay? All right, so let's start with this. I'm gonna do, Oh, two. Just do it simply. And then one. Okay. So right now that is what they said to do. They said put some on the top and then place a different number underneath the first group. Okay. Now I have to print the numbers into the boxes. All right. To reflect the, the counters that I put there. All right. So how many red? One, two, that's right, I did two. So at the top, in the very top box, I'm going to print the number two. Now the second box, there's only one yellow. Now, two plus one. There is not an equal sign like we're used to in the horizontal, but by putting the line here like this, that is telling us the same thing as the equal symbol that there are no more numbers to add together. So now it's time to figure out our answer. One, two, three. And the answer or sum is three. Now, I want to take these counters and put them into my horizontal sentence. The first number here, the counters, and this is the first number, so that's going to go first, right here in this first box. That would be a 2. There's the plus sign. Oh, I think I see some of you already printing that next number in the second box. And if you put a 1 there, you are correct. 2 plus 1 equals, that's right, I heard you saying 3 as you were printing it. Very good. So now let's look at these. It didn't change the answer. Still the same. Good job. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Ah, look at this. Now, last time we did a lesson with a domino, it was laying horizontally. Well, look at this. Now they have a vertical. So we can make a math sentence using that domino and make it vertically. So why don't you try printing that on your whiteboard or a piece of paper? Count the dots in this first box right here. Put them here. Count these dots. Write the number here. And then add them together and put the sum here. Pause and come back when you're ready to check your answer. Good job. Are you ready? Here it is. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Same thing. Looks a little different, but doesn't change the answer. Okay. Now, open up your book to your vertical edition paper, okay, inside your workbook. And look at the sign, okay? This is horizontal. If you've ever heard of the horizon, that's when you see the sun coming up. We're going down into the horizon, especially at the shore, you notice that, okay? It looks like the sky and the water meet. That's the horizon. So right here, horizontal, okay? Vertical, okay? Up When we stand up nice, straight, and tall, we are vertical, okay? Now, I'd like you to take two of your counters, okay? And 
we're going. All right. And then one of them. That's horizontal. Okay. And fill in the math sentence here. All right. I'm going to fill mine in. I have the two horizontally plus the one. I didn't even realize I did the same as this problem. Okay. Now I am going to, oops, wrong math. There we go. Now I am going to move my counters. down here so they are vertical and now I'm going to put the numbers in I have space between them I'm going to have to put the space there all right now two plus one equals three good job now if you don't mind I would like you to look for a minute at me okay and I have this all up. All right. So right now, I have two counters, okay? And I have one yellow. So this is what it looks like when it's vertical, right? Two plus one equals three, right? Now, here it is horizontally. Two plus one equals three. This is all that changes, right? Answer's the same. All right, let's continue. Good, good job. Remember, at any time, if you need to mute, all right? Uh, not mute, you need to pause. Don't mute me, you need to hear me. Um, <laughs> but if you need to pause for a minute to practice something, but make sure you come back to me. Or if you need to reverse, rewind a little bit, and then go back to go over something, you can always do that. That's what's great about when I record these lessons for you. All right, so now here again is a domino, and it says you can add across, horizontal, or down, okay? Across and down. And the sum is the same if the numbers added are the same. That's the thing. You have to make sure it's the same numbers, okay? They can't be different numbers. So if you're adding the same two numbers, here they're adding three and two, and here they're adding three and two, you're gonna get the same answer, okay? So you can trace over those now. And then now let's look again at some see and show. Now right here, all right, they have dominoes. Some are up and down. And some are across. Now, let me tell you something a little bit important. If you were to do this math for me, okay, and I was looking at it, you have to put what number in this first box? Four, that's right, because the four is on the top, right? And then you would put the one on, on the next box. So you can't just put the one up here and the four down there because that's not doing the same thing as the domino. Your numbers have to be in the same order as the domino, all right? So what I would like you to do, put your four in this box and one, four plus one equals, and write your answer. You are going to do these numbers. You can pause the video and when you come back, after you've done this, you can hit play again and check your answers. Always check your answers before you move on, okay? All right, hit pause. Okay, welcome back. Here you go. Here's your answers. Okay. Good job. Yep, yeah, there, there's a couple doubles there. Three plus three and four plus four. Very good. All right. Now, you know that five plus three equals eight. If you add down, what's the sum? What is it? Let me try that. Hmm. Well, 
here's my five. Here's my five. Here's my three. And they said five plus three equals eight, correct? So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, five plus three equals eight. Now, if you add down, let me see. There's the five and there's the three. Let me check what my sum is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The same, of course, because I didn't change my numbers. Good job. All right, so boys and girls, on the on my own, okay, you will do these on your own, pause, come back to check your work, okay? All right, check your answers and pause it before you go on to the rest. All right, here's some more, 9, 10. Now, 11 and 12 and 13 do not have dominoes or counters. So, this is where you're going to need your counters, okay? Whichever kind you like, whether you like the connecting cubes or the, the round spongy ones, it's up to you. All right, so do this and then make sure you come back after you pause to check your math. All right, good job. And next one, problem solving. See now, what's nice about this is they have the, the boxes there for you, okay? So here's the story. And after I read the story, you can pause it, put your numbers in, and use counters to figure out your, your answer. Brian saw five foxes in a field. He saw three other foxes in the woods. How many foxes did Brian see in all? Okay, pause it and then come back. There you go. Five foxes in a field, three other foxes in the woods, and together he saw eight of them in all. All right. If you happen to make a mistake, don't worry. That's why we have erasers, okay, for pencils. You can fix it and move on. All right, here we go. Nate found three bugs. Hmm. Pablo found two bugs. How many bugs did they find in all? Pause it and work on the problem. Okay, Nate found three, Pablo found two, and together they found five. Good job. All right, so how is adding down different from adding across? Hmm, well, let's figure that out. All right, let's write. Okay, and we wanna make it nice and big for us. Okay. Add, Wait, how is adding down different from adding across? Let's start with this. Um, the numbers go from top to bottom. That's all. When the numbers are the same, okay, when the numbers are the same, the answer is the same, okay? All right, so boys and girls, this is your math for today, and... I will see you soon. Bye-bye.